Hi everyone, I'm Emma. Today we're looking at a special type of cell division that is used to make gametes. This is really important as without it, animals and many plants wouldn't be able to reproduce. So let's dive in. In the previous video, we learned that sexual reproduction involves the fusion of gametes and that gametes are made by the process of meiosis. We're going to learn what meiosis is in this video. Okay, first up you need to know that humans have got 46 chromosomes in their body cells. These are arranged in 23 pairs, or we say they have two sets of chromosomes. In gametes, like the egg cell and the sperm cell, they have 23 chromosomes. They're not arranged in pairs. We say they have one set of chromosomes. Meiosis is how gametes are made. Let's look at the definition. Meiosis is a type of cell division that happens in the reproductive organs to have the number of chromosomes making gametes. So it happens in the testes and the ovaries. Let's take a look at the actual process of meiosis. Here we've got a body cell. So we'll give it some chromosomes. The first stage is the same as mitosis. The genetic information doubles, or copies. So we get twice the number of chromosomes. The next stage is the same as well. We have a division. So this cell splits in two, and the genetic information is split between them. Okay, here's where meiosis differs from mitosis. It has a second division. So we're gonna end up with four cells. Each one is a gamete. And each one has got half as many chromosomes as the parent cell or the body cell. Let's look at this in terms of humans. In the body cell, you've got 46 chromosomes. So when the genetic information is copied, you end up with 92. Then in the first division, where the cell splits in two, you're going to go back to having 46 chromosomes in each cell. And in the second division, when each cell divides in two again, you'll get 23 chromosomes in each gamete. Okay, let's look at what happens when the gametes fertilize. The egg and the sperm each have 23 chromosomes. So when they fuse together, you're going to get the full 46 chromosomes in the fertilized egg cell. The fertilized egg cell will then divide, this time using mitosis. It does as many times to form the early embryo, and each cell of the early embryo will contain the 46 chromosomes. As the embryo develops, the cells of the embryo differentiate. This just means that they become specialized for a particular function, like detecting light in the eyes. Eventually, all the cells are specialized and you have a baby. The last thing to mention is that meiosis makes every gamete unique, so every offspring is different. Okay, time to test what you've learned. Press pause, give the questions a go, and press play when you're ready. Number one, name the process used to replicate A, body cells, and B, gametes. Body cells use mitosis, and gametes use meiosis. Two, this species of insect has four chromosomes. Complete the diagram to show how many chromosomes it has at each stage of meiosis. So the body cell has four chromosomes. When the genetic information doubles, we end up with eight. Then after the first division, it halves again, so we have four. And after the second division, it halves once more, so we have two chromosomes in each cell. Three, define meiosis. This is a type of cell division that happens in the reproductive organs to have the number of chromosomes making gametes or sex cells. How did you do? Now you've learned about chromosomes, we're going to look inside them and learn about DNA. Click here to watch and here to subscribe. Thanks and bye!